hello beautiful welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing and blessed day what i have for you today is this beautiful colorful look i hope you guys enjoy i'm gonna be using nyx products or nyx however you guys know this brand i hope you enjoy and let's get started I've never used these products before so I'm super excited to share my end results with you guys. First I'm gonna start by priming my face and this is the NYX pore filler. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna be applying it especially where I have my large pores that is gonna be right here around my nose. So this is what it looks like. The primer feels really nice on my skin and I do want to mention that this primer feels a lot like the No Pore Blend Primer by the brand Chashin Salt. It feels exactly the same. So I hope it works exactly the same because I love this primer. I used to wear only this primer. So I will leave a comment down below if these are exact duped for you guys. Okay, moving on with the foundation i hope this is a perfect match for me but this is in the color classic tan and this is the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation this is what it looks like overall i love the packaging i love that it's a pump but i hope it matches me i'm gonna be taking my beauty blender to apply this foundation and this foundation is supposed to be a full coverage foundation by the way so i hope it works good okay so the color looks really really nice so far my lip and this is what my face looks like with one layer of foundation does look pretty good i do believe it is full coverage but let's test it out and put another layer and i'm going to be applying this layer with the brush to see if there's a difference okay and this is what the foundation looks like with a second layer using a brush um i feel like if you want a fuller coverage it is better to use a foundation brush you get the full coverage effect for sure using a brush now moving on with concealer i'm going to cover the dark circles i'm going to be using of course the uh, can't stop one stop concealer this is what it looks like all these products are new by the way so i'm excited to test them out hope they work great the foundation so far looks great but let's try the concealer and this is in the shade medium olive so hopefully it works great for my skin tone so i'm just gonna be applying it on my dark circles and on the bridge of my nose taking the sponge i'm gonna blend the concealer is what the concealer looks like i feel like it gave me a great coverage i'm really happy with this concealer so far i think it has a great coverage okay my loves now it's time to set the face and i'm gonna be using the mattifying powder this is what it looks like again it's the can't stop won't stop by the brand nyx picked up the color tan by the way and i'm gonna be using this powder brush it was a gift from my mom but i believe she got it at walmart these are amazing brushes i'm super excited about this powder i have heard amazing things about this product and so far it looks great on the skin it's going on really smooth it's blending nicely onto my skin okay moving on with the lips i'm going to be taking this lip liner and of course it's by nyx this is what it looks like I basically use this lip liner every single day. It's a perfect shade for me. This is the number A31. Moving on, I do have two matte lipsticks and this is what they look like. I have no idea why I chose these colors, but this is what they look like. Let me swatch them for you guys. I think the shades are perfect for fall time this is what the shades look like i feel like they're too much for the look that i'm going for today so i'm just gonna fill in my lips with the same pencil this is the butter gloss i love this gloss for everyday use it's perfect it's not too sticky or anything like that it just feels super nice on the lips 
Okay, and this is what the lips look with the lip liner and a little bit of the butter gloss. I love this gloss. They have different shades, by the way. But it's just the perfect glossy buttery gloss like the name of the gloss. Now it's time to set the face and I love this setting spray. I'm sure you guys seen it before but of course it's the NYX setting spray. This is what it looks like. Like you can notice I've been using this every single day. It does say that it hydrates your skin for eight hours but for me that I have combination skin I don't feel like it makes my face oily or anything like that. That's why I love this product. So I'm just going to be spraying it all over my skin. And I'm just taking my Dollar Tree fan. I love this fan that I found, by the way. Look how pretty it is. And like you can notice, I did apply blush and bronzer off camera. I couldn't find my NYX products. For the bronzer, I did use my Wet n Wild bronzer, this one right here. And for blush, I did use this new palette that I found at Ross, and I'm just obsessed with it. I love the color, but this is what it looks like. It comes with three blushes, and this is the Rosy Glow Blush Palette. I only paid $3.99 for this palette, and I can't believe it because it's a amazing blush i love 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 this blush i've been using it every single day especially the peachy one is the one i have on okay now let's get started with eyeshadow i hope you guys are excited because i am going to be doing a colorful eyeshadow for you guys i know it's been a while of course i did pick up two eyeshadow palettes and this is in the shade brights this is what it looks like way to put them on of course i also chose the warm neutral eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like i'm gonna be using both of them today so i'm super excited are you guys ready let's get started with this colorful eyeshadow and first i'm gonna be priming my lid with the same concealer and i'm taking this flat brush to clean the eyebrow you only need a little bit of this concealer it goes a long way so keep that in mind with this flat brush i'm just gonna be cleaning the eyebrow and setting the lid Now with this fluffy brush, this brush is by e.l.f. I'm going to be taking the Warm Neutral Palette first. And I'm going to be setting my whole eyelid with this shade right here. Moving on, I'm going to take this dark shade right here just with the fluffy brush. And this brush is by BH Cosmetics. You know, I love their brushes. I'm basically going to be applying it all over the crease to darken up the crease i hope the camera is getting that like i barely dip my brush on the shade and look how pigmented it is so right away i can say this eyeshadow is really high pigmented and it blends really really fast okay my love so so far i'm obsessed with this warm neutrals if it was for me i would do the whole eyeshadow with this palette it's beautiful but i did promise color so let's move on with the bright palette i am going to be taking this beautiful it's like a mustard yellow color so i'm going to be taking this shade and i'm going to add it all over the crease and I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush, basically adding this shade on top of the brown. Taking another BH Cosmetic flat brush and I'm going to be taking this blue shade and I'm going to be applying it all over the lid. Okay, my love, so this is what the blue shade looks so far. Um, I do want to mention that you can build it up. It's really easy to build up, especially with the warm of your finger. Like you can see, it builds up really, really nice. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow so far. I have no idea what I was doing because I have never tried their eyeshadows and it's really pigmented like you guys can see. hope the camera is making justice because this color is beautiful okay, but moving on i want to add a little bit more color and so we can see more shades I'm taking this fluffy brush and i'm going to be taking this pink shade and i'm going to add it on my bottom eyelash line i do want to add this beautiful curled color and i'm taking another clean brush and i'm going to add this corners of the eyelid Okay, 
Family Love and for the tear dot, I only added the mustard yellow shade. I don't know if you can notice, but I basically just added this color on the tear dot. And we're done with the eyeshadow. What do you guys think? I am a little sad with this shade right here. I was really excited to put a little bit of this beautiful peachy color. But like you can see, the more I blend it, the more it will disappear. So I'm a little upset about the color. Maybe it didn't work good with the brush that I used. Or, or maybe because the blue shade is really pigmented that it's hard to blend with the blue color. I don't know. But the rest of the colors work beautifully they blend really nice like you can see they're buildable and on this palette i only used two colors but i'm really happy with the colors that i use really high pigmented they blend they're really really fast and i'm so excited to create a different look with this eyeshadow palette for you guys i do picture myself using this beautiful palette for a full eyeshadow makeup tutorial for you guys so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those future videos overall my love i'm really happy with this eyeshadow palette they blended really nice okay my loves and we are done with this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys love this look it's not my best work but i'm really happy i think it looks nice i'm happy with all the products that i used today so really quick let's talk about the products that i have on my face right now okay so let's get started with the pore filler primer overall i think it did a great job by filling up my pores and i do want to mention it is a dupe for the no pore blam primer this one right here by touching soul is a dupe it feels exactly the same has the same texture and it does a great job at filling up the pores i'm obsessed with this primer so far but of course this is a little bit cheaper than this primer so you get your hands on this if you haven't tried it yet foundation i love everything about this foundation i love the packaging i love the color it's a perfect match for me so i'm really happy that i picked up this foundation um, it does have full coverage like it says so I really like that about this foundation I've been wearing it for a few hours and it looks really good on my skin moving on with the mattifying powder I'm obsessed with this thing like I mentioned before this powder has great reviews and with no doubt I can say that this powder is amazing it does mattify my makeup it holds my makeup really really good so far and not only mattifies my makeup but he also added another layer of great coverage to my foundation i see myself using this every single day and moving on with the concealer you guys seen that i have really bad um under eye bag so i got to test this concealer um it does have a beautiful coverage especially for water cover today it did a great job covering everything and i do want to mention that this concealer comes in 24 shades also it does say that this concealer is a high pigmented concealer and i have to agree with it it covers everything with a little bit of concealer you guys saw you only apply a little bit and it cover everything um also so this concealer is super lightweight you're not gonna feel it getting a little older i'm starting to get lines and some concealers do tend to crease but this one hasn't so far so i'm really happy with this concealer and this concealer was really easy to blend moving on with the eyeshadow palettes like you guys saw i have the warm neutrals and i have the bright eyeshadow palettes um overall these palettes are amazing i love how fast they blend and i love that you can and build up the color overall they're just really high pigmented i really really like them i'm really happy with the eyeshadow you guys saw that i did have a little bit of problem with this shade right here but it's not the end of the world all the other colors work amazing so make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss more future videos with this palette because i'm obsessed and you guys are gonna be seeing these palettes in the future the lip liner there's not much to say you guys know i love this lip liner and i use it frequently i really like it um it stays on my lips all day long i have no problems i can eat and drink and it will stay on place a butter gloss i do want to mention that i love these glosses they are super nice they give you the perfect gloss without being too exaggerated i know you guys barely see it on my lips but it's not because it sucks it's because i 
literally finished this whole thing it has barely anything but i wanted to still show it to you guys because i love this butter gloss and they do have different colors scent by the way is kind of sweet so if you don't like sweet scents you're not gonna like this if you love sweets like me you're gonna love this and it feels really really nice on the lips and the last product that i use is the setting spray you guys know i'm obsessed with the setting spray i literally use it every single day just love this setting spray i mean you can prime your skin before makeup and minimize the appearance of pores if you didn't know that it also sets your makeup and this setting spray of course also helps makeup last throughout the day and like i mentioned i do use it every single day so i can say that it, this is true it does make your makeup last all day long without moving um i use it every day especially for work and yeah it works great and it also make your face feel hydrated so it's not gonna feel like tight on the skin like matte finish it's not gonna do that but it's gonna make your face feel really comfortable like you have no makeup on so i love this setting spray i believe those all the products i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do want to apologize because i didn't post any video last thursday and i'm sorry for that but hopefully you guys enjoy this thursday video i'll see you next thursday so don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification i love you and i'll see you in the next one